Okay, I'm going to show you how to customize a free HTML5 template. Um, you just want to search on Google for free HTML5 templates and this link right here, html5up.net, has some great uh, templates that are super easy to customize and they look really good on tablets and, and phones. Um, small devices and large devices. So I'm going to go ahead and hit free download. For this one we're going to be talking about Etherreal. You can check some of my other videos for Massively and some of the other templates on this page. Go ahead and close that. I'm going to show in folder this zip file. I'm going to go ahead and uh, double click on that and extract all. I'm just going to go ahead and work in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and open up, uh, actually first what I'm going to do is go into the images folder and I am going to drop in a few images that I found, um, public domain images that I found that I'm going to use for this tutorial. Paste those in there. I'm going to be making a, a website about mansions and so I've got three pictures of mansions here and so we're just going to um, rename these three pictures and you know, I'm going to do that in index.html oops that's the All right, go into here. I'm going to work with Dreamweaver, but you can pick any text editor that you like. Um, there we go. So I always like to start off with editing the uh, title. And I guess the title could be something like Mansions, Historical Mansions. Mansions. And Mansions for sale. Uh, let's just stick with Historical Mansions. Okay. And then down here, you're going to go to find the first image file and rename it to. Bit more estate, and I've already typed up a description. For that uh, estate, and so I'm just going to copy and paste it in. And actually, I don't want to be doing editing that right there. We're going to leave that alone. Pick 01, and you'll see why in a minute. We want to go down to here. Bit more estate. Whoops. Bit more estate. You want to edit the second. Paragraph, and we're going to copy in a little uh, description of this. Is oh, that's the fell bridge. So let let's make sure we have the right image to go with the fell bridge estate. And just type in fell bridge estate here, and then in this first. Uh, section instead of introducing the name of the template I'm going to put uh, historical mansions and remove that and remove this little line break here and I've got uh, a little description to go into here for this paragraph um, just going to copy that in there. Oh, 
Okay, and let's go ahead and look and see what we've done so far. I'm going to save that. I'm just going to open up the index.html file. And there we go. We've got historical mansions. We've got my dis introduction and description here. We've got a little button here that we can click to go to the next. And I'm going to show you how to add that button to this one as well. And then there's a lot of stuff here that I'm not going to get into. Um, different icons. And then the, here's where the gallery would be if you wanted to have a gallery. And you have to upload thumbnails for each each gallery picture so you can click on those. And, and it opens up like a uh, zoomed in picture. I'm going to show you how to do the contact form. I'm going to show you a neat way to, to do a contact form if you don't want to get into making it work on your host. There's a, there's a nice little thing called Form Buddy that makes it real easy to add a form. But anyway, for now I'm just going to stick with this area right here. And so let's go back to the code for a second. And this little button right here, this little next button, I'm going to copy that, put it down at the bottom of this div, and you'll see why in a second. And instead of going to, instead of making it go to first, I'm going to go to second because this div right here is first, and I'm going to go down here and copy this section. So I'm actually working with just the spotlight. For some reason I, I like the way this spotlight section where it looks, but not, not the way the gallery works. Um, So we're going to name this ID to second, so that button will go to second, the second div, and we want this one to go to the third. And so um, I got some text for the bit more estate that I'm going to put right over the top of this and a description for the bit more estate it's gonna put in this paragraph here um, save a lot of time of you watching me type that out which I don't think is quite necessary I've seen a lot of tutorials where you spend a lot of time just watching the person type rather than learning what it is you really want to learn, which is how to make a HTML5 website in the shortest amount of time as possible. So there's the bit more estate. Let's go ahead and save that and, and look at it in a browser. I'm going to refresh. And so now we've got this but Oh, something went wrong. It's up here. Oh, and I know why. So we put that in the wrong place. This little part here. Let's see. See up here, it's in the it's in the div. It's in it's uh, within that upper div. So I'm gonna cut cut that out and put it in the content div. As you can see above, that's where it is. Same thing with this one. It's just a matter of, of doing the same thing that you see up here in this first one that's given to you. So I'm going to save that and let's look at it now. After we refresh, there we go. We've got a button here, button here, and of course, the way this works is you can just hover your your mouse to the right or the left, and it's gonna it's gonna take you 
a right or left. And of course, if you're on a tablet or a phone, you you just swipe to the right or left. Okay, so we've got the Bitmore State, the Felbridge Estate. Let's get one more in there just so we can uh, get some practice with this. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Copy the Bitmore Estate. I'm going to rename the section ID to third and we're gonna leave well let's see yeah we could we could put fourth or we could put contact form or just contact for now because that's what we're gonna have as the next section going to make this fairly simple, show you how to add a contact form. Instead of the Bitmore Estate, this is going to be the Plum Orchard Mansion, and here's the description for that. I'm just going to copy and paste that in here. Boom, and the picture plum orchard mansion save that Whoop. accidentally closed that file not want to do that okay okay plum orchard mansion good we still got it there and right here, I'm going to put ID. Actually, you know what? I'm going to take out this section. Of course, you can leave that in there if you want. But I'm trying to make this. And here's all, the whole gallery part that if you wanted to do, you could edit that. But um, I'm going to go to the, co I'm going to leave the contact form. Let's go ahead and save that and see what we just did there. Reload. So we've got the Plum Orchard Mansion in there now. We've got a simple contact form. And then we've got all this other stuff that you can. It's basically just explaining what's in this template and what you could do. You could make a fancy form like that if you wanted to. I'm going to go in and, and cut that out just because this is for. A developer to look at to if you wanted to add some buttons or some icons or different headings and and a bunch of stuff that doesn't apply to this short little tutorial that I'm making on a simple gallery basically that looks great on a tablet or a phone so we'll go back to the code and there's the plum orchard. I'm going to remove a lot of this code here all the way down to that contact form. Let's see. Actually, we wanted to keep just this one contact form, didn't we? Um, so I'm going to remove that and then remove what's after that contact form. We'll double check that we did this right in just a second. Let's just change the copyright. Are we gonna how about uh, 
mansions. And there we go. We just have the contact form. Three mansions and a contact form. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. And for the contact form, and this little action, if you go to Form Buddy, you can get a... a um, build a script for free. There's a paid version that, that has a few extra features, but I'll just uh, show you what it looks like. Whoops. There you go. You can just add it. They give you some code to add, and, and you, you add in a few more parameters, and you can build a, a form like that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to go into too much details, but if you want to go to Form Buddy, and and see what you think and ask me any questions in the comments section I would uh, be glad to try and answer them for you um, but yeah I hope you learned something from this this tutorial on how to edit the ethereal I think that's how you pronounce it ether ethereal template on html5 up.net and f please check my other tutorials where I, I have one on editorial and another one on massively so far. And I'm going to try to work down the list and do each one just because I think these are really great templates, especially if you want to get some practice with uh, creating websites and uh, modern, responsive, mobile-friendly websites. This is a great place to learn, and I hope you learned something from my tutorial. And... Um, that's all for now. Thank you.